Breaking news tonight, Wyandotte County KCK will keep its indoor mask mandate for another seven weeks. Good evening, I'm Haley Harrison. United Government Commissioners approved an extension to January 6th. KNBC 9's Brian Johnson is live tonight with the reasoning behind tonight's vote. Yeah, Haley, this became uh, because of a recommendation from the health department. Locally, COVID-19 cases have nearly doubled from their low a few weeks ago at about 18 cases per day to now about 30 cases per day. The health officials say the county should lead on this. One health official compared it to banning smoking indoors, saying that it's better to lead rather than wait till later. Now, right now, less than half of the population in Wyandotte County is fully vaccinated. Furthermore, health officials say they anticipate many parents who are not vaccinated will not have their children be vaccinated. They say children vaccinations could take about a year. Now, earlier we talked with six people. One man who wouldn't go on camera says the masks are, quote, stupid and that they should end the mandate. Everyone else who talked to was in favor. Anything can uh, protect us or everybody is, is great. It'll be safe and it'll be safer for people. Because I think once we took it off, like the first time that they did it, how many people did it started dying? How many people started getting COVID? If it helps, then yeah, they should extend it. And it slows down the spreading of COVID. Then I say, yeah, do it. Now, council members Melissa Bynum, uh, Bynum, excuse me, Tom Burroughs and Brian McKiernan, all three of them voted not to extend the mask mandate. Live in Kansas City, Kansas, Brian Johnson, KMBC 9 News. All right, Brian. Well, Kansas City, Kansas public schools will continue to require masks. Turner Public Schools in Wyandotte County require masks through December 17th. After winter break, the district will strongly recommend masks, but will not require them. Now, doctors at Children's Mercy say they have noticed COVID cases are increasing as many schools and cities are reconsidering their mask mandates. We know that about half of adolescents have had both doses of vaccine. We also know that a lot of area high schools are going to masks optional right after Thanksgiving. So, you know, we expect that we may see an increase in cases. With that bump, I mean, in, in cases currently, that's going up. It hasn't stopped. We hope that it will stop. <laughs> um, but in our testing that we do here, we're also seeing an increase. And so it's hard to know right now what's going to happen. We sure hope people get vaccinated. We sure hope people continue masking. Doctors also say that demand is high for their children's vaccine clinics. The KCK School District will hold a vaccine event soon. It's called Squash COVID this Thanksgiving. Get it? Yeah. Well, it's happening Monday from 4 to 7 at Carl B. Bruce Middle School off North 18th. Everyone who gets a vaccine is also going to get a free turkey and a voucher for an on-site food truck. Lots of food here. People getting their first dose are also going to get a $50 gift card or an NFL hoodie. A lot's going on here. There are also giveaways for those who get tested. A district spokeswoman says that they want to make Thanksgiving a safe reality for as many people as possible. There's a lot of people that are really working hard, not just our community partners, but our teachers and our students who have found a dedication to keep other people safe. So we're very thankful for all of them. Monday's event is a partnership between Patrick Mahomes Foundation and the Wyandotte County Health Department. It's the district's fifth vaccination event, and they hope that it puts them at more than 1,000 vaccinations given out. And the CDC's vaccine advisors are going to meet tomorrow to consider recommending booster shots for all adults. The FDA is also considering the move. Some states like Kansas have already allowed adults to get boosters.